Okay, good morning, everyone. Here we go. Happy Friday. Welcome almost to the weekend. Okay, so this morning um, will be a power hour. Um, I've got four exercises that we're going to um, go through. And there we go. So I'll read our disclaimer before we get started. Just in case there's anyone out there who still hasn't um, gone through it yet. So, in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering telefitness to Canadian Armed Force members. By using social media platforms, the telefitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Force personnel become accessible to all. Prior to participating in this session and to make an informed decision on whether you should seek advice from a qualified exercise professional or healthcare provider, please consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document, simply by clicking on the links below. So on Facebook, um, the link for the Get Active questionnaire and the reference document will be posted. So if you haven't taken a look at those, then please look through them before we get started um, to make sure that you are safe to continue. By continuing with this telefitness class, you understand that there's a possibility of physical injury and you agree to do so voluntarily at your own risk. You also assume all risk of injury and agree to release the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services from any and all claims related to your participation in this telefitness class. Right. So those links will be in the comments for those that need them. And otherwise, we will get started. So my name is Jessica Davis. I'm a fitness and sports instructor here in New Brunswick at CFB Gagetown. Um, and like I said earlier, we are going to go through a power hour. Um, one of my colleagues at 11 o'clock will be doing a full body circuit, um, so you can check her workout out as well at 11 um, if you would like to. Um, my uh, power workout is going to be primarily lower body and core. Um, we'll switch between exercises for those two muscle groups. Um, and yeah. So I'm going to um, I'm going to take us through a day a dynamic uh, full body warm up and then I'll get into um, more of a warm up specific to the exercises and movements that we're going to be doing. Um, so we'll do a a couple of rounds of that movement preparation warm up and then we'll get into the actual exercises. So all you'll need for your workout today is just some space. Um, I have my uh, exercise or yoga mat out because um, we will be doing some planking from forearms or hands. Uh, so I just like to have the extra cushioning underneath. So you don't have to have a mat, so you just need space to move. Um, but if you do have one, then feel free to use it. So let's start with just our full body dynamic warm up to get everything moving. So we'll start with our head as usual. Bring your left ear down to your left shoulder. Roll your chin to your chest around in front and end with your right ear at your right shoulder. And just continue that back and forth sway with your neck. Nice and slowly. Not stopping anywhere yet to hold a stretch, just continuing to flow back and forth. Bring your head back up to center. And moving into the arms now, we'll do some stuff for the shoulders. So just swing your arms up and down. Not 
not going further than your morning range of motion will allow you to. And then let's open our arms out and bring them across. Feel a bit of a dynamic flow in your upper back too, opening your chest and rounding your back. Good. And then in a kind of push-up motion, we're just going to move our hands in from uh, into our shoulders and then press out, just like you're doing a push-up in the air. Just a few arm circles, so starting small and then starting to make them a bit bigger and then really opening up and exaggerating the circles and let's switch directions. Starting small again, getting a little bit bigger. And then really exaggerating, opening the chest, rounding through the back. Good. Shake out your arms. All right. Um, let's bring the feet wider than hip width apart. So start to walk your toes and heels out towards the sides of your mat. And we're going to lateral lunge. So lunging into the right knee and then stand back up. Keep your uh, chest up nice and tall. We're just, just a little lunge into each side, keeping the opposite leg straight as you lunge. We're not holding a lunge on one side or the other, just continuing to flow back and forth. And let's add in a reach, so lunging to the right and then reach overhead with the left. Lunge to the left, reach over with the right. Bring our side body into it a little bit. We're not reaching too far. Just a gentle reach across. Good. Let's stand back up. Heel toe your feet back together. And we're going to squat into a chair, bringing our arms forward. So your feet are about a hip width apart. You're going to sink your hips back but keep your chest up nice and tall and reach your arms forward and stand back up. Reach, stand up. As you're continuing, still make sure that your chest is up nice and tall, that you're not bending forward but you're sitting and reaching. Good, stand up. And let's do some hinges for our hips and the backs of our legs to get them going. So hinging from your hip, we're going to reach for the ground, keeping a slight bend in your knees, and then use your glutes to pull you all the way back up to standing. So reach for the ground, slight bend in the knees, and stand back up. Reach and stand back up. Your spine should stay neutral. 
throughout this, your mid and upper back, I should say. One more. Good. And moving down the body just a little bit more. Bring your feet about hip width or slightly wider. And we're going to spring up on our toes and drop back down to our heels. So up on your tippy toes, back down. Up and down. Up and down. And let's do two more. Good. And one last thing to roll out the ankles. So roll your right ankle in one direction. And then switching directions with the same foot. And switch feet, now to the left one. And switch direction. Perfect. If there's any other specific um, movements, dynamic movements that you know you need to do for your warm up, then feel free. So we're going to move into um, our first round of the exercises, but there'll be kind of movement pattern prep for the actual exercises. So we'll do a round of that now. The first one is a lunging kick. So we're going to, if you have a mat, you're going to stand close to one end of your mat. We're going to lunge back, so reverse lunge with one foot. And then we're going to kick that knee back up and through before stepping it down. So other side, we'll step back to lunge and then kick it up and through before you step it back to the top. So let's go for, let's go for 10 on each side for a total of 20. So step back on the right, kick it up and through and step back down. Left, kick it up and through, step back down. Right, step down, left, kick, and down. Your lunge doesn't have to be a big step back. It's just whatever you can balance and feel comfortable with. Especially in the morning, sometimes balance is a little harder. Two more on each side. Last one here, and left side, good. Now we are going to head into our plank and what I call active child's pose. So if you're familiar with yoga, child's pose is here, resting on your shins and the tops of your feet. So instead of that, we're going to tuck our toes under. Our knees are still nice and wide. Our hands are still out um, where they would be for a high plank. And we're going to spring back and forth. If we lift our knees off the mat, spring forward to high plank, and then push back again to that active child's pose. So let's go for 15 here. Forward and back, 
No need to rush. Nice and slow and controlled. That's five. Here's 10, five more. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. Shake out your legs a little bit if they got a little fiery from that one. Okay, sumo and reach. So we're going to bring our feet out nice and wide with our toes turned out a little bit. So that we're in a sumo squat position. So we're going to squat down and then as we stand up, we're going to reach over um, to one side. So squat, reach left, squat, reach right, squat, left, squat, right. Keep going. We'll go for 20. Or 15, I guess we went for the last one, didn't we? Halfway there. And three more. Last one. Good. Heel toe your feet back together. And coming down for some more core. We are going to do side plank rotations for our movement preparation of this. So coming into side plank, you want your shoulders stacked directly over your elbow and your hand flat on the mat. Nice active fingers to support you as well. And then with your feet, you'll have them stacked one on top of the other and your hips lifted off the mat. If you need a modification for this, have the bottom leg on the ground and bend um, the knee with the foot behind you and then place the top foot on the mat and lift up from here. Okay, so same um, kind of pattern through your body, but just the lower leg, uh, you're dropped at the knee. Okay. So from there, we're going to rotate our top hand underneath our body and then rotate back open. You're not um, dropping the shoulder and rounding as you go in. You're just bringing the hand through to create a little bit of instability for your body to withstand. So close, open, continue here. Again, remembering that if you need the modification, please drop down so that you're not um, doing any damage to your shoulder. Two more here. Good, and let's switch sides. Heading on to the other side. So again, check in with your shoulder being over your elbow, bottom foot is supporting, stack the top foot, and rotate here. Remember to breathe. And remember 
you can drop the knee down if you need to. Two more. Good. All right. So that was once through our movement preparation. So those four exercises, we're just going to kind of bring a level up for our actual circuit. All right, so as we go into the actual bulk of the workout, um, just know you can stop and grab water whenever you need to. I'll just kind of power through them uh, and we'll take a bit of a break at the end of each round of them, but we'll try and get in three rounds uh, in the next kind of 15 minutes and then we'll do a cool down. All right. So if you remember our first um, movement preparation exercise, it was reverse lunge and then knee up and through. So we're just gonna add a jump to that now. So it'll be reverse lunge, and then you're gonna jump off this front foot, kick up and through before stepping back down. Same on the other side, jump and kick up and through before stepping down. So we'll just go, Back and forth there. Same thing as in the warm-up, we're gonna do 10 for each side for a total of 20. So here we go. Right foot back, power through, left foot back. You can create as much power, as much height as you want with this. Lost count, lost balance too. One more on each side. Good. Woo. All right. Our second one was the active. So we did active child's pose to high plank. So this time we're going to do plank, jump into a squat and stand up. So from plank, we're going to jump into our, a low squat, stand back up, hands back down, back to plank, squat, stand. Okay, so let's continue here. Four, 15, squat, stand, squat, stand. exercise was sumo and reach. So a couple options here. You can either continue just doing body weight and press up, or if you do have some kind of weight and you feel like you need more for your upper body in this exercise or this workout, 
then you can add weight. So either books, a heavy backpack, not too heavy though, because you're pressing overhead, kettlebell, whatever you want. So you can incorporate a weight if you would like, or you can just continue squat and press with your hands. Okay, Whew. here we go for 15. Squat, press. Remember to keep your chest up nice and tall and press straight up and through with your hands whether you have a weight or not. This is 10. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one. Good. Let's put your weight down safely, heel toe your feet together. <clears throat> one more exercise in this round. So in the movement preparation warm-up, we did side plank with the rotation. This time, we're going to do side plank and try to roll to a, a front plank. So if, if you're not able to do the roll and you want to just stay in either your modified and continue with the rotations or full side plank continue with the rotations, that's fine. If you want to try the roll, then this is what it'll look like. So. Side plank, you're going to use your core to stabilize you nice and strong. Nothing through the core should move too much. The top arm is going to come down and sit um, parallel to the other one. And then you're going to lift up the original arm and now your side plank on the other side. Coming back, place that arm down and rotate around. Okay, so it's a nice, slow and controlled movement. And please remember, if you don't want to do the roll, it's too much of a challenge for today, then you can just stay in the regular side plank doing the arm rotations. All right, so we're gonna go back and forth 10 times. So you'll have had 20, side planks all together. So starting from here, rotate, both arms are down parallel, and then lift to the other side. And back, that's one. Two. Three, four, five, we're halfway there. You should be shaking. I sure am. Three more to go. Eight. Nine. Last one. Shake out your arms. And 
That is the end of round one. So grab a bit of water, take a breather. And what time are we at? All right. We'll get through them all one more time. Okay. Take a nice deep breath or two. Get ready for the next round. Okay, so we're going back to our lunge, jump and kick through, our plank, squat to stand, our sumo overhead press, and then that lovely side plank roll that we just did. So we'll do all four of those exercises through one more time, then we'll move into our cool down. Okay, so lunge, jump, and kick through. We're going for 10 on each side. Total of 20. Here we go. Right foot steps back, kick up and through, and land. Left. Five more. Whew. 
One more. Good. Heel toe your feet back together. Whew. Grab water if you need it. I'm gonna grab a quick sip before our last exercise. One last side plank roll. And then we'll start to head into the cool down. So same as the last time, you can stay with just the isolated side plank and do the one arm rotations from the knee or the foot. So that was like this, from the foot, rotate under, back up, or lower the bottom knee, rotate under, back up. If you want the extra challenge of really stabilizing your core, then you can do the roll with me. Okay. So let's get up into our side plank. Last exercise. Last couple of minutes. Rotate to front plank, open to the other side plank, and back. Nice and controlled. That's one. Remember to breathe through this. That's two. Three. Halfway. There we go at five. Halfway there. Keep breathing. Six. Seven, three more. You got this. Eight. Nine, we got one more. with a little bit of movement while your heart rate slows down. Maybe just walk around the room a little. Take some nice deep breaths. Two, our cool down. So stay standing, drinking water if you need it, and we'll start with our cool down. So overhead, reach for your opposite elbow, tricep stretch. And switch sides. Good, let that go, shake it out. Shoulder, reach across, and then whatever shoulder you're stretching, so it's my left, I'm going to tilt my head in the opposite direction, get a little bit of an extra stretch through the neck there. Good. 
and switch sides. Drop the shoulder away from your ear. Good. Come back up. Let's plant our feet a little bit wider than hip width and link your hands behind you. Push your hands back and down. Open up through your shoulders. Lift your chin just a little bit. And then opposite, bring your hands around in front. Push through your upper back and bring your hips forward a little bit to round through your shoulders. And open up again, hands behind your back, push back and down. Nice open chest. Good. Shake that out. All right, let's come down to kneeling. So if you can, tuck your toes underneath of you and sit back on your heels. Make sure your baby toes are tucked under with the rest of your toes. And we're just going to let the bottoms of our feet stretch out a little while we do some with our hands and wrists. So grab, so the left palm place out away from you, take your right fingers, grab your left fingers, and then stretch your forearm and up through your wrist. And other side. So left fingers grab right fingers and then push the wrist open for a nice forearm stretch. You might feel your toes tingling a little bit with them being stretched. Go ahead and shake out your wrists. And then just bring your hands down in front of you, lifting your toes off the mat, and then just give the tops of your feet a little pat on the mat. Come around to sit. One foot out in front, one foot tucked in, and we're going to hinge from the hip towards that front toe. Try not to round through your upper back, but keep your chest nice and open as you lean towards that toe. And same thing on the other side. Hinge from the hip towards the left toes now, keeping your chest up nice and tall. Good. Figure four, crossing right ankle over left knee and then bring your left foot flat on the mat. So we are stretching our right glute and up the side of that right thigh. And stretch the right leg back out. Plant the right foot on the mat, left ankle over right knee, and then feel the stretch up through your left glute and the side of that thigh. And release that. One more stretch, come down on your side, and top foot comes back into your hand and stretch the top 
at the quad of your right leg. And switch sides. Top leg facing the other way. stretches that you need, feel free to take them before you move on with your day. Um, like I said, my colleague Jess Clements will be on here um, at 11 o'clock Atlantic time um, to do a full body circuit with you. So make sure to tune back in for that. Have a great day everyone and I will see you next week. Bye.